Happy Sunday. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. It's been a while. Team of the season is finally here. If you're looking to get yourself any coins from the best supplier in town, check out my sponsor, FIFACoinZone.com, and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Now, I thought we'd start this off on my account. Now, I want to show you guys what my team currently looks like on this account. Um, yes, I'm benching Team of the Year Messi. Crazy, I know. Uh, but this is my account that is currently market banned. Now, I have actually decided to take a step away from this account from, uh, from now on and pretty much forever. Um, and I've made a new account. Now, I'm playing Weekend League on this account for the last weekend this week, unless I just get tired of using players that aren't Hullet and Vieira every single game. Um, and I might come back to it at some point. But I do have a new account. There's something so satisfying about being able to just do this. I'm a big fan. Uh, but this is the new account. I've got two losses on it already. I played Draft 2 two games yesterday uh, and lost in the first round twice. I've got no excuse. Anyway, this is what the new team currently looks like. I have been grinding on this account. Uh, we've been doing a lot of SBCs and I've been doing the weekly objectives and stuff like that. Uh, so what we have is a team that I will change into a 4-2-3-1 and I'm liking the players. I'm, I'm enjoying playing with different players and not just like pull it and Socrates and Best and people like that every single game. It's a nice breath of, breath of fresh air that I'll probably heavily regret uh, this next weekend when I play champs with this account. Uh, but I'm liking it. I'm going to grind and try and improve the team here and there. Obviously, we'll have the uh, League and Tots pack uh, up and coming in the next few days. Uh, so that could give us like something incredible or something terrible, but it may upgrade the team and it may not. So we'll see. Uh, we will make some changes based on that. But no, this is what the current team looks like. I'd like you guys to rate my team in the comments. Now, I play my main formation with this team is a 4-2-3-1 and this is what I play in game. I play a Cardi up top with Gignac, El Shirawe, uh, El Shirawe, sorry, uh, Mbappe, uh, Jan, Envia and uh, and Blanc and then obviously the back line stays the same. So rate my team down below. Now after that elongated intro, let's actually get into rating some teams. Now to get your team in the next video, it's not difficult. You just have to listen carefully and perform the tasks that are at hand. All you have to do is take a screenshot or multiple screenshots from your console and tweet them directly to Twitter. Hashtag it's Haber in your tweet. Do not at me. Put the hashtag. I cannot find the tweets. Like, let me quickly show you something. I get on average 3,000 mentions per month. I get on average 2.6 million impressions a month. I get so many notifications on Twitter. I can't go through notifications to find your tweets. Please use the hashtag. It's the easiest way for me to find it because I can just search hashtag and get all the squads easily. If you do need to know how to do, uh, how to take a screenshot, sorry, from your console, uh, I'll leave tutorials for both consoles in the description. And the last thing you need to do is be following me. Unfortunately, Dave, I would love to have checked your team out, mate, but you're not following me, so you're not going to be included in the episode. I'm sorry. So if you do want to be included, tweet me your teams with the HD screenshot from your console. Hashtag it's Haber in the tweet. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Easy as that and you can be in the next episode. Let's get into this episode. Now the first person we're going to be including in the episode is Mark. Mark does follow me on Twitter. I've already preemptively checked. So massive thank you to you, Mark, for following me on Twitter. Now, he has been amazing and showing me what he starts with and what he uses in game, which makes life a whole lot easier. Uh, the only thing that I'd say he's not left in there is, unfortunately, uh, how many coins he's got and who's untradeable. So who you can sell, who you can't sell, uh, and how many coins you do have. But I could probably make an educated guess on who's untradeable and whatnot based on the plays that he has and stuff like that. Um, and uh, we can make an educated guess onto how many coins he has uh, and make some pretty cool improvements to the team. So uh, without further ado, Let's have a look at his team. So he starts with this at the start. That's uh, that's playing with Lucas uh, below me or, or behind me. Um, so this is what he starts with. And then in game, he plays a 4-2-3-1. Uh, and it looks something like this. So it's actually a really nice looking team. I am a big fan of the look of that team. There is a couple of changes that I would personally make. And uh, and here they are now. So I've put his team into a concept squad. And uh, I'll be showing you guys the changes I'll be making. Now, the first change I would personally make straight away is by putting a certain player on the bench. And that that is Jan M. Via. Uh, I would personally put him on the bench because I don't think Pogba is good enough these days to play as a CDM. At the start of the game, he was fantastic, but he's not quite good enough anymore, in my opinion. What I would personally do is maybe at halftime, swap these around so you've got a more defensive minus CDM at that right CDM spot. You've got the agility and you've got the movement of Alexander, uh, Alexandra, Alex Tellez uh, over on the left CDM spot. I think you just want the overall rock and the and the holding midfielder that is Jan Envia on the right CDM spot uh, as a sub in game. Now, the other thing that I would personally change straight away is I would, when you start, you start, you start Lacazette up top, and I think that hinders you slightly. I would personally uh, start Sissoko up top. 
Now, the reason I say that is because you can get normal Suzuko, make him a striker, and that gets another green link to Ericsson and also the orange link to Awa, uh, meaning that you can actually change your right mid to somebody different because obviously Aurea doesn't need links. So the right mid could be uh, another player from the Premier League um, and you won't need the links to Ericsson either. I think it's probably a smart way for you to be able to uh, to be able to get a better left count than play them with Lucas because I just don't rate him. I would personally go with a five-star skiller here. Now, the first player that comes to mind is actually Jordan Shakiri. His scream card I would personally look at because obviously he's got the, uh, he's got the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The physical. He's got 99 physical, 99 uh, dribbling. He hasn't got the amazing pace, unfortunately, um, but he's got great physical and great dribbling stats and he's got the five-star skills. You can do El Tornado crosses to your Ebra, for example, um, or just, uh, you know, use these skills in general. The next player I'm thinking of is uh, is straight on Mares. Uh, Riyad Mahrez is another player that you could look at. Um, maybe a better option for you is like this sort of version of Mahrez because, um, again, he's got decent stamina. He's very fast. He's got five-star skills. I would personally look at replacing a player like that because then you get the uh, the agility and the, uh, the what's the word, like the five-star skills, the flair, I guess, of, um, of a five-star skiller. And he can do broken El Tornado crosses to Ebra all the time without having any kind of failure with it whereas with uh, with Lucas you get the four star skills which is great but uh, I just personally don't think Lucas is quite an end game player anymore at the start of the game is fantastic but at this point in the game I think you're going to struggle against uh, decent defenses with a player like player than Lucas um, in that position but that's just my opinion you could also go with someone like Salah if you don't really care for a five star skiller um, anyone as a right mid in that right mid spot if you use his Oko up top and some off for Ibra would probably be a lot better than uh, they're not using a strong link to Ericsson there that's just my opinion though. Um, I'd love to know how Alex Tellez is at CDM. I nearly said Alexandra again. I'd love to know how he's at CDM. I personally really enjoyed using him at left back. Uh, he was probably my favorite left back of the game. I haven't used flashback Sandro, but this card was probably my favorite left back of the game. Uh, I can imagine him being decent at CDM. Not sure if he'd hold, uh, hold his own against some of the really brutally big CDMs on uh, the game at the minute, like a Vieira or Hullet. Don't know if he'd hold his own against them at CDM, but it'd be interesting to see. The next team is from Oliver Hart who, of course, follows me on Twitter. Very much thanks to you, Oliver, for following me on Twitter. Uh, and this is what the team he has linked to me looks like. He's got, uh, obviously, this is how he starts. Uh, I presume in game, he puts Gerard down to right CDM, uh, Neymar down to Cam, uh, Cliver up top, and then Benzema as a Cam as well. That's my presumption, and that's why I've based my presumption on that. And that's why it's really important to let me know what you guys play in game and who plays where and whatnot, so that my presumptions can be more accurate, and I can get a more accurate uh, gauge of what your team's like and give you more accurate advice advice based on your team. So uh, yeah, what I've done is I've built his team in game and uh, I'll tell you what changes I've made. So he said he's got 200,000 coins and it's a decent looking team. But the first thing I would say is I don't think that uh, Gerard would be a good CDM. 80 defending and looking at his defending stats, he doesn't have those defending stats that actually are, are vital in my opinion. I don't think his defending is good enough for a CDM. But looking at his stats, he'd probably be an incredible central cam. Now, what I would do is I would personally change these plays like this and I would take, get rid of Benzema. I don't think this UCL Benzema is a good enough cam. Uh, I just don't think he's good enough in the game. What I would do is I would then play like this and I would bring in uh, Axel Witzel at right CDM spot. His inform card or his wants to watch card both look very, obviously the same card, but they both look very good. I think this would be a very, very solid CDM card uh, in the game. He looks incredible in my opinion. A very, very nice card. Four star skill and weak foot as well. Uh, great physical stats in terms of he's, uh, he's six foot two. Not the best of jumping, but uh, but you know, he's got decent jumping. Um, he's got 91 stamina, 83 strength, incredible defending stats as well. Interceptions, marking very good. Heading accuracy is decent. I think he'd be a very, very good CDM. And of course, you could then grind up to maybe getting the team of the season card because this team of the season card looks absolutely unreal. I have used it and it was a solid card at CDM. If you can grind up towards this card eventually, I think you'll have an incredible CDM there. An incredible CDM. Looks incredible. Aside from that, I personally wouldn't change a whole lot because I don't think you've got... You, you're in the point at the minute on FIFA where you don't have enough coins to change the players to the, the players that you would change to. Like, for example, uh, I would personally change Rice out for, uh, I don't know, like a Fernandinho. Uh, maybe change out Stones for maybe a Team Team Laporte, who, by the way, is actually very good on the game. Maybe change out this Digne card for... Uh, 
who knows like uh uh i don't even know like it, there's there, there really is a lack of premier league left backs this year there's a lot of right backs but there's a lack of left backs that are decent uh i personally didn't like this uh this denier card when i used him he might be decent for you though but there really is a lack of left backs in the premier league aside from that your attack looks incredible it looks like a really really solid attack and I, i'm a big fan of this card um i think this cliver is incredible as well he absolutely destroys me whenever i come up against him he's got incredible finishing and very 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 decent card so i think you're solid for the attack it's just making minor upgrades in the defense here and there uh trying to grind towards bigger and better players aside from that it's a nice team uh, i'm a big fan of the team and uh, i'm a big fan of this guy at right back he's a very very good right back a very good right back the next team is from sayar mahmoud uh and this is his team he said he's got uh he subs on parejo oh sorry subs off parejo straight away for thorgan hazard uh and he switches rodri and uh wijnaldum he's got 300k spare and his tradables are uh can van dyke Alisson and Iago Aspas and that is what his team currently looks like and I tell you what it's a nice looking team and considering some of your intradables they are very decent and the first thing I do is get rid of this 234,000 coin hunk of poop at the uh, in the goalkeeper spot I just don't think this guy is good enough at all. I just think he's so unreliable in this game. Uh, and he really does annoy me how bad he is uh, when I see people play with him. Because I know a lot of people have got red versions of this card. And I always score stupid goals against Allison and Edison. They just make really stupid decisions, in my opinion, and really stupid mistakes. But in terms of your in-game squad, by the way, I had to use the upgraded version of Van Dyke Because I don't know if this is a glitch or not. But apparently the 85 van dyke just does not exist in concepts or maybe he does when you use this card no look there's no 85 van dyke in concepts anymore the card literally just does not exist maybe he's hit the threshold for too many cards in fifa but the 85 version no longer exists in 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 concepts anymore i think that's really really weird um but this is the team that he's currently rocking obviously what i've done is i've brought uh thorgan hazard in where he usually plays him and because he subs off parejo uh and don't get me wrong it's a nice team the first of 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 changes i'd make uh i look at this Rodri card and i think you know what he'd be a decent cdm but I think you'd probably do with a, a decent sub for a CDM as well. I think what you've got is you've got two big, chunky CDMs. But I would personally go with a substitute of maybe someone that's a little bit smaller. If you can afford to get Kante on the bench, it'd be a decent player to get. But the first thing I'd do before all of that, get rid of him. I would personally get rid of the 85 Van Dijk as well. I don't think he's good enough. And probably get rid of... Uh, I mean, you could get rid of Dinier. It's difficult because I know you want to play uh, uh, Wijnaldum as well. Um, but it's going to be a difficult. It's going to be difficult regardless to get all of these plays on chem. So uh, I'd probably keep uh, uh, Dinier and I'd go with the uh, upgraded Van Dijk, the 88 Van Dijk. Because if you ask me, the 85 just is not good enough. It's just not good enough anymore. I just don't think it's good enough. Even though it is Van Dijk, it's not good enough. And using that strong, oh sorry, perfect link, you don't actually need any more links for uh, for Wijnaldum or Van Dijk. So when you uh, when you start the team, you'll be fine with that. I would then look at getting Team of the Season Donnarumma in goal because I've heard a lot of very, very good things about this Team of the Season card. Obviously, if you guys have heard other things, then let me know. But I've been told by, uh, by trusted friends that he's an incredible, incredible goalkeeper. And he's about half the price of Allison, maybe that's an exaggeration. He's about 170k, 160k. So he's a good like 80k less than Allison in my, uh, not even in my opinion. That's actually a fact. Uh, but he's probably better than uh, than Allison in my opinion. I also look at this team and I see you using End of an Era Barzagli, and you're the only person I think I've ever seen use this card. I never see people using this card, and I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments what you think of this card because never used it never seen anyone using it never played against him so i don't really uh, know how good this card is but apart from that i think your team's decent and i know you've got players on the bench as well to bring on um so what i would do uh, as soon as you've uh, obviously made the upgrades that i've i've given you advice on i would just try and work towards getting better version of cards if you can if you can grind towards getting a better version of van dyke over here at the center back spot maybe you grind to get i don't know like a hang on let me and she get the Van Dyke up real quick. Maybe you grind towards getting, uh, I don't know, like a UCL version or uh, a team of the year version. At, like that's your end game in my opinion um but in the meantime you grind towards getting maybe the 90 in form and the 89 in form i think just upgrading van dyke is probably your best option there aside from that decent team the next team is from sam guitat i apologize if i'm, uh, I'm getting that wrong but uh, it's from sam very nice looking team i actually like this team now he's left me a big paragraph as well he said my whole team is untradeable he plays the 4-2-3-1 in game he changes players around in game to where they're supposed to be and he has 400,000 coins to use and upgrade the team uh change it however you'd like i like this team a lot i actually like the look of this team a lot i think that this team obviously uh, i've changed where the players would be in game uh, so you guys can gauge a, a more 
uh, realistic idea of what it looked like. But I like this team a lot. I think it's a very, very nice looking team. And uh, and I'll show you what I do. So this is what the team looks like in game. Now, like you said, he has 400,000 coins. First thing I would do, bin off Edison straight away. Get David De Gea in there. El uh, uh, Ellison. Edison is absolutely rubbish in this game. That team season Edison, I love when I play against that card because he makes so many mistakes. It's so easy to score against him. I love playing against him. He's just absolutely terrible. That is the first change I would make. Second change I would make is probably getting rid of Sizoko at CDM. I just don't think he's good enough for CDM. Uh, I would look at, obviously, your end on Bele is 5'11", so he's not exactly the tallest with not great uh, jumping. You want someone a little bit taller over on your right CDM spot. And unfortunately, there isn't actually a whole lot of players that you can go for that look decent. Now, obviously, I would maybe look to grinding towards uh, Fabinho. Don't think you can afford his 91, but you might be able to afford a lesser version of him. Actually, isn't his other special card uh, center back? Oh no, he's got he's got an 86 rated card as well. I would look to possibly getting this 86 rated card. Um, I would grind towards a, a good version of Fabinho over at your right CDM spot. I think that's where you'll uh, benefit the most is having a, a bigger, taller CDM with uh, more of a, an impact and more of a presence than Suzuko. Um, Obviously, I'm not saying he's taller than Suzuko. What I'm saying is taller than Endombele. Uh, but I just don't think suzoko has got the defending stat that you need over at your CDM spot. Literally, aside from that, I wouldn't change anything else. I think you've got a really solid team there. Uh, and all I would change, uh, if I was to change anything, and it's just being, you know, sort of, of nitpicky, I would po probably just try and upgrade Ferdinand or maybe get a different uh, center back and then maybe go towards a version of Virgil van Dijk over here. Um, so if you can get towards a, a grind towards a version of a, a version, a version of Virgil van Dijk and possibly a better version of Ferdinand or a different icon, I think that you're absolutely set. Aside from that, I really do like the team. I think it's a nice team and I imagine you have a lot of fun with that. This Kai Havertz card is really good in game. I've used it and I think it's great. His first time shots are incredible. Sadly, he's not as good as the Tot, but he's, he's next best version and uh, it's a nice card and, and everything else I think looks and fits well in the squad. The last team is from a man called Ben Craig, who of course has left me a big paragraph and followed on Twitter, so thank you for following me, Ben. I appreciate it. Uh, and he said, this is my team. In-game Hernandez and Son switch around. You've got two and a half million coins with wants to watch Ronaldo, team of the season Son, Prime Hernandez, and Carnival. Uh, sorry, Carnival? 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 Uh, Carnival, I'm guessing you mean Cancelo, maybe? Uh, or Carnival, Emre Chan? Or, sorry, Carnival Chan being untradeable. Uh, and you're currently competing, uh, completing... I can't read this morning. I do apologize. Currently completing Eusebio. What improvements could you make to the team? So this is what he starts with uh, to start. And then this is what he plays in game. Um, and now, there's obviously a couple of things. I'd, first of all, I would start Son and uh, and Hernandez switched around. You actually get Son on full chemistry there. And it doesn't change absolutely anybody else. Um, and it will put Son on full chemistry and Hernandez and on full chemistry if you make him a center forward or cam so i personally just switch those two around actually to start with because it doesn't change anyone's chem um and i think that that's probably the first thing you'll benefit from massively is changing those two around but let's take a look at this team in game now i what I, I think what we like to call these teams in the biz is um in the biz in the industry this is what we call these teams is uh uh when you skip leg day you've got an incredible front three attack and then your your team below the cam is probably worth about 300 400k something like that it's, it's it's like an incredible front three and then a, a very cheapish sort of, of budget team around the uh, behind. Now, did you say how many coins you had to work with? You have two and a half million coins and you've got that team below your front three. Okay, we're making some adjustments. First of all, you're going to get team of the season Emre Chan. Now, I like to, I like to think myself as a connoisseur, as, a, a, as, a, as a, an expert with the 4 one 2 one 2 because I've used this formation pretty much for most of the game this year. And I, I like to think of myself as a very well-informed, very knowledgeable 4 one 2 2 player. So the first thing I do is get Team of the Season Emre Chan. The second thing I do straight away is not search for Kante in the market. I would get rid of Kante because he's way too small as a lone CDM. And I would get Patrick Vieira's 88 version, is it? Okay, that's definitely not the version we were looking for. I would get Patrick Vieira's 88 version in the squad because I think he's only about a million coins. Uh, so he's only about half, maybe less of your budget. And he's a fantastic CDM as a lone CDM. He's very tall. He's very physical. And I think he'd do 
a way better job than Kante would. Uh, I would also get rid of this man over here on the left center mid spot. Now, of course, you need uh, your son on full chemistry. What I like to do with my 4 and 2 on 2 narrow is play two defensive center mids as CDM and right center mid and have them both on get back while attacking uh, and stay central. And then have your left center mid as an attacking player uh, as someone that will get on the pitch. So I think what I'd, who would work sorry, really well here is a version of Christian Eriksen that you can afford. Maybe the 91, I think, is quite cheap. So I'd personally go with possibly the 91 version of this card here uh, and have him on get forward, uh, which will work, in my opinion, really well. And then we get to the defense. And I think Chesney's a great choice uh, in terms of Bonacci and Chiellini. Just don't think they're good enough, but I think you're going to struggle to find players that are good enough within your price tag. I would personally look in the Serie A, and I would personally go for, uh, in terms of, okay, where is the Serie A? There we go. Um, I would personally go to grind towards a version of Izzo straight away. He's about 270,000 coins, and he's an absolute beast. Very, very good card. He's only six foot, but he's got incredible stats, and he's more. He's kind of like a Cannavaro in game, just a bit taller. Um, I would personally go with Izzo there, uh, or maybe switch those two around. And Banash is decent. Uh, you're probably going to try and find the replacement, though, I'd say. Uh, if you can grind towards a team of the season, Chiellini or Koulibaly, that would be the first thing I'd go for. If not, then maybe just a version of Koulibaly that you like um i'd probably say maybe the better version the best version you can afford probably because he's a big center back and he's a big brute of a center back as well so aside from that i i think these are the changes i'd make when you've got two and a half million coins and the best look in terms of team of the season and what's watch pack pools i've ever seen um there's not a whole lot you can do but i'd probably say those four or five changes would probably make your team way stronger and a very good team in game so that is my advice to you if you uh if you want to take it then let me know down below and tweet me if you do take the advice and how you get on with the team because this is these are the changes that i'd personally make with two and a half million coins and i think they'd probably benefit the team very very well i would love to hear your opinions and how you get on with the team if you do change it and if everyone else uh that is in this video does change their team based on my uh advice and opinions tweet me and let me know how you get on with that i'd love to hear it and i'd love to converse with you about how you get on with your teams thank you for watching this video if you guys show a lot of support to this series and i'm very grateful to it so i appreciate you for watching and supporting thank you for watching and i'll see you later